Hey guys, Dennis here, Muddy Water Search and Recovery. Um, just a couple updates. Um, first, I want to mention we found out yesterday that Nadine Moses has been recovered, and some of our viewers have reached out to us to let us know as well. Thank you for that. Adventures with Purpose did recover Nadine Moses yesterday. And that's incredible. Great job, guys. And it's great to know the family finally has answers. Again, not the answers anybody wants, but answers where she is. Next, I want to talk a little bit on the Brian Laundry, um, the search for Brian Laundry. Again, this guy needs to be found. If he is the one that murdered Gabby, justice needs to be served. The photograph that's been going around of the hiker that was caught on a trail camera in Florida, law enforcement has confirmed that that is not Brian. That is a local resident in that area. So that photograph is has been confirmed to not be Brian Laundry. Brian is supposed to have experience in living off the grid and survival skills, etc. That could carry him a little ways in that swampy area in Florida that they're searching for him. The There is a survivalist who done an interview on Fox News. Please go, and I'll try to get the link to that interview down here in the description. Please watch that. This guy is 100% spot on with this. And I will go into the details on that at a later date. But right now, I really encourage you to watch that interview. And we do... Many of us know, making sure everybody here knows, that there is a federal warrant out for Brian Laundrie. He, they have him for fraudulent card use. He spent $1,000 or more unauthorized on a debit card. They have been able, it's a Capital One debit card. They have determined that it was used after Gabby's death. But so far, they have not come out and actually said whose card it was. Um, if they're doing the warrant and it's fraudulent, obviously that makes you believe he's using uh, Gabby Patino's debit card. But they have not come out and said that yet. So that leaves us to theorize what that may be. But with that federal warrant out that also pushes other law enforcement everybody to focus on I don't want to say putting all of their focus on finding Brian Laundry, but it does kind of up the attention on this even more as far as a law enforcement mindset so hopefully Brian will be found soon um I know many people are saying we don't care about him. You know, we're all entitled to that opinion. But at the same time, you know, Gabby's family deserves answers. Gabby deserves justice. And it's whether or not he done it. We will be doing a video very soon. Um, Chrissy will be here. Megan will be with us. And we're going to go over our theories, our thoughts on this case, and kind of bring in different things that kind of goes along with our mindset on this. So we hope you guys will join us for that. We might even do that as a live feed so you guys can chime in on it as well. But for now, I wanted to do those couple updates for you. Um, very, very thankful Nadine Moses has been found. I wish it, as everybody does, we all wish it could have been a better outcome than that. 
sadly, this is how it does end on many, many cases. But so thankful that there are answers and our thoughts and prayers go out to the family. We ask your thoughts and prayers go out to the family as well. Till next time, you guys stay safe. Let's bring some more of these people home.